Lucky was school project, it belonged to the school, which was DigiPen. At that point in time, we just wanted to do something interesting and different. And the lead, one of the lead designers was like, uh, we want to make a game around sound. The sound designer agreed, and then we came out with the art style, and that kind of slowly led to a horror game, basically. With Cypher, we just decided to make it a thing that was owned by Gata Games, basically, yeah. Conceptually, it's the same game. Uh, it's a mind-enabled sound-based horror game. You use sound to see, but all the enemies here are fear. The horror is about the same, but we worked a lot more on like pacing and then making sure that people are like on the edge of it more. And then when the hit actually comes, it's much more impactful. Cypher as a game, it's more narrative-driven, a lot more pacing, and it's a lot more uh, design in a such a way that it's like an experience. And our team is quite small and very new. It's like we're just fresh graduates. And with that, we didn't really have a lot of experience with that, like storytelling, business, marketing, all these things are like brand new to us. The team is just really good at making games, but making and making a professional game to sell is something that we know the experience in and we're learning. The industry is not new per se in Singapore, right? So we have a lot of people who've been around the block, they know what they're doing, and we learn a lot from them. I've been traveling a lot for the events, and I've been learning a lot from the events and like how people run shows and how people do marketing. We got really lucky with looking, right? So we got a bit of traction. And with that traction, uh, we were able to pitch to Spring Singapore, and they gave us uh, they, they gave us a bunch of money basically. So I think the total grant limit was 50k. We've taken about 40k at this point. Uh, outside of that, that starting pool of cash, all of it is found, funded by the founders basically.